dabbles with a lot of characters. He is also very notorious for loving to money match people, loving to call people out on Twitter, loving to call people out in person. And, really? And not necessarily, you know, what you think of him as a result of that up to you. I'm not going to make any statements on anybody's character, but he, you know, he definitely likes the competitive part of Smash on a personal level, not just on an in-game level. All right, all right. He, well. he has high thoughts on how good he is as a player, mm. and that confidence is both a blessing and a curse, and we're going to see which one it is here as he goes right. up against Dar in game one. Mm -hmm. But but it looks like M Madasi had a little bit of a bit of a rough start right here, but hold up. Managing nice clap climb. right back. Yeah, but right, both these characters having relatively exploitable recoveries, but there, mm. that 45 degree angle of Roy's lines up so well with with Aegis up B, right? That you can yeah. just kind of find the snipe if they don't have a jump. We saw right there, that's gonna be it. And Dar, despite a fast start, kind of just hasn't been able to close out these stocks, close out these situations. And yeah. Madasi is really capitalizing on these missed opportunities. Somehow. Yeah. Although, although Roy him, himself definitely has some pretty dang good frame data, this is myth what we're talking about here. And it's especially gonna, yep. gonna be hard for uh, Dar to get in on. Oh, whoa. You know, and this also is gonna settle the debate a little bit, right? Maybe give us some data on which sort he's better. Because a lot of people as of late have started kind of saying, hey, Roy's kind of got the speed of, of Mithra with the kill power of Pyra. And you've got better combos, you've got a better recovery. But early on, it's really Madosti running the show. Both players mm -hmm. making it, taking advantage of these smaller side black zones, really finding these early horizontal kills. kills. But so far, Dar just hasn't had an answer for, especially this Mithra Nera as a combo starter. Yeah, for real. Oh, that's gonna be punished. Oh, damn. Yeah, it was even close to get, getting that F smash off too, but nope, not a. But uh, as, as I was pretty much saying, like this, this may be a uh, kind of rough for for all Roy because like although Roy is pretty dang fast and has some good frame data himself, Mithra especially has some oh, really no, that, dang good that, frame data that and is it, especially uh, fast. Great and job on top of that, you sorry. Oh, oh, on top of that, you you even have uh, things such as foresight. Uh, to worry about and like so, and a really good uh, combo game and on top of that you, you even like saw a, a bit like th throughout just this game alone like uh madasi was able to get some really uh quick quick and easy punishes up on uh, uh for, for even just messing up in the slightest way yeah no pretty exactly. much these have been some great recovery routes from dar though to keep himself in this game Amos, he's done a great job holding his jump they're gonna find an f to, to close out the stock bring it into a last stock situation the up be not gonna close it out because of that high top town blast zone again but, but that time you cannot jump you cannot mash that option out of disadvantage yeah. especially not over pyra yeah, she's Py just gonna swing that sword yeah pyra has some real like nasty anti ears that like j and just like that with, with that up tilt you also got up smash you you, you even got up air too yeah you've got and, back and if, air. And if yeah, you even got back air too. You got da down, damn near all your air. I was gonna say down, revert, back hit down air too. Can you even? Oh man, you know like, air. And 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 if you're and if you're like really really uh, feeling crazy, then go. For, you could probably go for an upbeat that has that that has a re really huge uh, hitbox, especially yeah. like going upwards. You think they're gonna push a button? You can just air dodge at them, foresight them, get the get the anti air that way. But <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if uh, <laughs> I don't know if this player is gonna go that loco, but. Well, who, I mean, yeah, who knows what stops you want? You're gonna pull out here, getting into game number two production. And yep, I was gonna say we are still on the player cams, but now we are on to the game proper. And Dar already starting out again with a fast stop, or finding 40%, but getting himself caught in the corner a little over extension. This time they're saving his jump. He's not gonna get caught by the same thing twice. And finding a reversal on Madasi just for a second, Ooh. but Madasi is gonna answer right back. Not able to close the stock out though. Dang, that, that was a really, really strong strong start by, by Omodasi. They were like very, very close to even uh, getting that first stock while, while Dar was off stage, but kind of messed up a bit with that uh, upbeat. But, and, and they were even close yet again uh, with, with that easy little uh, t tech chase with Pyra Dare. But, yep. mm -mm. Ooh, and again, Dar, they're yeah, trying to find that downhill dangerous. tech chase F smash, but you saw him get a little bit antsy. He didn't want to commit and it let Madosti kind of oh, get back to center stage. He's going to put himself in the same situation again, that time getting a little too overconfident and going to find, like, overcorrecting to the extreme, not going to find it once again. Just a, We're seeing him kind of run into the same situation, not able to close out the stock, but third time is the charm here in game number two, and Dar finally going to find his first lead of the set. Very nicely done, very nicely done. But, oh, that was a bit of, bit of a strange option, just going right for the neutral ring? That, that might have been a bit of an input error from Moldar right there. Oh, hold up. 
Okay, yep. even going for a bit of an anti yep. with the Dancing Blade? What? Yeah, the Dancing Blade, just to kind of put him in a juggle situation, right? Aegis being a fast faller, yeah. all all at least, well, Mithra is, Pyra is not as much, but you can kind of find these juggles, get a little bit more percent, and it's resulted into 87% of extra credit before Dar losing his stock to that up B. You're not too upset about that, right? Because yeah. that first stock was super even. You closed it out first, and then, you know, put right, right. almost 100 on answer, so. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's not, too, not too bad, not too bad at all. And, and, and Dara may, may especially need, need that, uh, uh, given the little situation here for, for this set, B being a game behind. Bowed up off stage yet again. Oh, nice catch on the roll from, from a ledge. All right. And, and having Dara at 59%. Yep. Bowed up. And Honestly, one of the things that strikes me so far from both these players is, right, people Whoa. talk about how both these characters are quote-unquote mashers, right? They just hit so many buttons. But we really haven't seen that, especially out of Oh, that's going to so be it for Dar. Yeah, he got, Dang. A, he got, got put lead. in a checkmate, missed one tech, and that was it. Yeah, you, you got to be real, real careful, as I think I, as I might have mentioned a bit earlier. Oh, hold up. Yep, he's trying to mix it with that stage. movement again. A little bit of a dash dance, but Madasi not falling for it. And yeah. Dar again struggling to close out the stock in the same way. This time, though, holding on onto his jump again. He's too, he, he's, you know, 50% on getting caught with those or not. And now the weak hit jab, unfortunately, not going to combo the back air, but for those, still going to put Madasi off stage regardless. Dar still trying to find an answer, but again, just not able to space these aerials correctly to close out. Whoa, whoa. Well, was he trying to go for a foot? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> wow. Oh, but dang. Right as Madasi tried to get, get an F-tilt, I think. Dar get, getting a nice uh, back here to, to take that second stock. Dar going to have to be real careful. Messing up with that up here, but all right. Yep. He was trying to find oh, that okay. reverse hit up there as a combo starter. Didn't get so, but at least got a straight hit. But it's going to still get put in a juggle situation. Before trying to find his way out of the corner. Great use of the platform there. Going to find his way out, and that could have been his opportunity. But he's going to miss the back air to see stage control. And how can Roy get back here against oh, the Oh, try be up in the platform. Him. Oh, not still a living. Oh, you Almost seeing see God with a lot of these things. Jesus Christ. You, you're seeing Madasi really starting to get antsy about this kill, right? He really wants to close this out. Oh, but he's just kill button after kill button. And it's allowing Dar to get right back into this game. Madasi's starting to beat himself here a little bit. It, ooh, that's a side B, but not still hanging on. That, that thing don't, don't usually get to like 160 if I'm mistaken. Yep, but, but it's stale now, so we might not see it just yet. The next move from either of these characters is likely gonna kill. Or we gonna the side the game ah, that, that could have been a free throw, but no need. Because they managed to catch them something with that forward A, and that's gonna be it for game two. Wow. Dang, that, that, was, that was kind of a. That, that was real scary for old Dar right you know, there. Dar took advantage of the opportunity that Madasi gave him, but also Madasi gave him that opportunity there yeah. in that game number two, right? He, you, once he got into kill percent, you just saw him only mashing kill option. It was like, Madasi just started kind of holding for it and kill option, kill option, kill option, kill option. And Dar was just like, okay, these are unsafe, dude. Let me, let me hit you for that. Let me hit you for that. Let me hit you for that. Oh, cool. Stage control. Thanks. Let me hit you for that. And then... I, I gotta it got the kill percent, kill percent, oh, hold on, wait a and we're gonna see the character switch. Madasi going to Joker? Yeah, this is actually his main. So three. interesting to see the stage counter, the, the character counter pick. Game number three it makes sense though. You know, you you get a, a stage that you're you're familiar on with this character. Um, Madasi from New York City, I believe. Eve, Eve, that small battlefield, the starter of choice in much of the city. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see. Whether Dar is ready for this mix-up or whether Madasi, Madasi's uh, proto-esque strats are gonna really carry him to victory. You know, thinking a bit about it, like, hmm, this this matchup might be a little bit more of a pain in the rear. Whoa, they try to go for the Harvey with the F smash. Like, I, I guess this might not be too bad of a pick for Madasi. Whoa, what's up with the? That's nice. Can't get through. All right. Anyways, um, this. This might not be too, too bad of a pick uh, for, for Madasi, because like with, with with Joker, like your your overall like pretty dang fast, got got pretty got a pretty slim uh, hurt box, and ooh, damn, you could even counter those recoveries yeah. with our, with our sense like huge huge hitbox uh, with, with that counter alone. So it may be like uh, overall kind of easier uh, to Edgar Dar as well. On top of that, you even got the guns too. Roy, the issue with Roy in this matchup is Roy knows one thing, and it is hold forward, right? 
Whereas Joker can play very aggressive, play rush, but he's also got very good defensive tools. He's got Aegon, he's got great movement, he's got gun, right, which isn't even a projectile. Oh, well, and he has so many different ways between counter, between gun, right, to gimp Roy's recovery, really just force that exploitable angle oh, to not let him get back. But you know what happens? It doesn't matter what character you are, because if you get caught by that back air, you're going to explode at some ungodly percent. Yeah, that, it, this is Roy we're talking about here, but dang, speaking of back airs, nice back air for a moment. That's it going real deep off stage. And that was three sweet spots in a row, racking up not a whole lot of percent. The sailing kind of coming to Midasi's benefit there. They're now trying to find just a little bit of gun pressure in neutral, gonna give himself the advantage state for it. Uh, and the Aegon to cl close things out. That was a very clean extension. Hold up, but here's our send. Yep. And when Daddy is in the uh, house, caught the counter. is possible. This is just about kill percent for Dar, and you have to be scared right now. You have to find a way to close out this Nice ascent. ledge trump. Ledge I, back air, gonna do so. If, if I'm mistaken, I don't think they even got hit uh, by, by any any attacks from Arsene, no, like even once. No, he didn't at all. It was really clean play. Hey, Madasi got Arsene, got forced into the corner, and then died pretty instantly, which is what whoa, you have whoa. to do, but Arsene's about to be back in the house. House, house. Joker calling for backup, and backup is about to arrive. But is oh, there it is going to need it. Dar has to close this one out quickly because you can't Ooh, try get to go for another like anything right now. What up? They, they are catching that dash tech and the guns. He didn't That's going to be it. Ah, yeah. oh, dang. He, See, he got his jump caught right at the start of that up B by those guns, and that was that was it because you get sent back away, and then you have to jump to get back, but you just used it. So. Yup, as I said.